Tu, pak vám join Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in today's video we are going to talk about this Pocket Go fake system. Yes, so I was always thinking or understanding Pocket Go is a brand that sells only these devices. But it seems to be that in China everybody can sell these versions or it's just in clone. So the Miu is more like this Pocket Go version. It comes in this very nice orange box. The question is, what are we going to get? And not only if you look at the grocery and we're talking about the product itself and the quality. Because the official one did have some problems with the screen. Or it seems to be. Okay, let's see what we're going to get. Nothing much. Okay, let's talk about the manual itself. Oh, this is more like a manual nobody had any use for. And let's see what we have here. We're having here the micro USB I'm guessing, yes indeed and we're having some separate buttons because we can make the choice to use these buttons because this one comes pre-installed with the colored buttons, very cool alright let's take a close look at the Mio and let's see what we're going to get alright so let's take a close look at the Pocket Go clone and if you look at the system itself or the outside it looks very similar but there are some differences but that's something we're doing and close look at it later. So what are we going to get? The D-pad is very, very clickish. I think you can even hear it on the camera. Select start. At the top of running Allen R. You have the TF slot for the CF card. Micro USB. We have two AV outs, one for the signal out and the other one is for headphone out. We have a reset button if the thing breaks. We have an on and off switch over here at the left side and at the right side we're having volume control. Alright, so that's what we're going to get. Let's power on the system and let's see. And then let's play some games. Alright, so the software itself, it seems to be that it's running on NX Hope. Layout looks the same. Alright, so let's do a quick overview here at this part of the left top. We're finding some basic apps, for example, for playing video. And the next one we're finding all the emulators that are pre-installed on the device we can always install new ones next one we're having the homebrew games that we're going to check out and here we have some things like settings we can power up the system we can change the skin settings let's see what we can find over here cpu settings i'm guessing you can overclock it yes you can and here we can basically reset the whole thing Alright, so let's play some games and let's see what we're going to get because I'm very curious about this little mono speaker. Is it loud or is it just the same like the Pocket Go? Alright, so the first game we're going to try it is Adventure Island on the Game Boy. Doesn't sound bad at all. Alright. Alright, I'm pressing the reset button in-game, just wanted to show you this, you can ask for the menu, so it's not always for resetting the system itself, but it's more like an extra button for going back into the emulator itself, uh, you can show the FPS, we can even change it to full screen and we can change a lot of little things. Game Boy Advance, let's see, sounds good. So far, I really like the screen. It looks very vibrant and colorful. The sound is good. I'm going to blow myself up. Let's play some NES, it sounds good. Because the NES have most of the time problems on a device like this, or as I said, there's problems in general. It's 
sounds really nice. That sounds good. Right, game gear time. Right, so it sounds good, it plays good. Next one. Master system. <laughs> this looks really bad. If you're used to the Mega Drive or the Arcade version. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, it's very spicy because Sonic 3 sometimes has some problems. Alright, let's see how it looks. I don't know how it would you, but as you can see with the wave there was some stuff going on. Mm, Alright. Let's see if we can find some major screen tearing or something. The sound is off. You can already tell. The sound is need the sound is not like it should be. Let's do the 3D stage. I missed out the sound. So if it comes to the sound itself, a little bit of bummer. But that can be fixed with an update. <laughs> oh my god, I play this game so much. <laughs> Right, let's see how this place in the game runs. Oh, just great. Loading times! be working fun. Alright, the D-pad is very responsive, so if you want to play fighting games, that will not be a problem. Oh, crap. 
I'm getting my Yoshke too. More like a person handicap. Come on. Finally! So for the final conclusion regarding the Mio, I must say it's not a bad product at all. It got some very good emulation, nice screen, D-pad is decent, you can play some fighting games with it. Not the best one, I have seen and felt way better D-pads. But this is what you're going to get for the money. Let me know what you think of this, really love to know. The Pocket Go, fake or bootleg, how do you want to call it, maybe it's even the same factory who produced this thing, who knows. Nevertheless, this is what you're going to get. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell. And if you have some free time, don't forget to check out the Wicked Gaming channel. See you next time and bye bye.